Namaskar, I am Shion. I welcome you to the Bread of Life. Let us look to the Holy Bible. Second Samuel chapter 3 verse 27 to 39. The main idea of the day is Joab took revenge. And when Abner returned to Hebron, Joab took him aside into the midst of the gate to speak with him privately. And there he struck him in the stomach, so that he died. For the blood of Asahel his brother, afterward, when David heard of it, he said, I and my kingdom are forever guiltless before the Lord for the blood of Abner the son of Ner. May it fall upon the head of Joab and upon all his father's house. And may the house of Joab never be without one who has a discharge or who is leprous or who holds a spindle or who falls by the sword or who lacks bread. So Joab and Abishai his brother killed Abner because he had put their brother Asahel to death in the battle of Gibeon. Then David said to Joab and to all the people who were with him, Tear your clothes and put on sackcloth and mourn before Abner. And King David followed the buyer. Let's understand the word of God. Joab killing Abner was against the words of God. Therefore, Joab is cursed for not following what was told. Also, because of Joab, the promise between David and Abner cannot be kept. When we try to take revenge into our own hands, it doesn't just affect us but also the people around us so instead of taking revenge we must forgive it is really hard to forgive someone who has wronged us but if we remember how jesus forgave our sins then there is nothing we cannot forgive believe that as god repays the good deeds god will also repay the wicked deeds Remember that revenge is for God. May the Lord bless us with his word. Let's pray and practice. Dear God, thank you for your beautiful words. Please help us to love our enemies instead of hating them. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. <laughs>